Hello, you're watching Digital Rev TV News, the only channel to watch for photographic equipment news, presented by an Asian guy with a funny British accent. First off, Sony have just announced three new Cybershot cameras, the WX5 and the TX9, as well as the T99. The first two feature a 12 megapixel backlit sensor and a 3D sweep panorama mode. And the T99 is a 14 megapixel camera. And it's got a touchy touch screen, so you can touch it up. Ooh, Grandma, what big hands you've got. And we've got another new product announcement. We've got this, it looks like a Nikon lens, but it's actually from Takina. 16 to 28 millimeter f2.8, available in Canon and Nikon mounts. It'll be for full frame, and it features a silent drive module, which is uh, good for silent, precise focusing. It's fully weather sealed and has an integrated lens hood. But one thing is that you can't actually fit any filters onto it. That will be available for Canon mounts in September. Nikon guys, you'll get it in August. That'll be 1400 US dollars. Now onto some juicy gossip. Starting with Panasonic. They're apparently doing an LX5 and also another Micro Four Thirds camera. The Micro Four Thirds camera will apparently look like DMC L1, which is rangefinder inspired. It will feature a Leica lens and three times zoom, apparently. And it will feature a nice flat top with sleek looks. Looking forward to that one. Then, Pentax apparently bringing out a K7 Super. It sounds like a superhero, but in fact, it's going to be pretty much the same, but with some minor improvements, such as the video mode, which will have 720p at 30 frames per second. Not quite so super after all, then. Then we have Photokina 2010, which is apparently going to bring us lots of juicy stuff this year, starting off with Nikon. According to Bloomberg, they reported that the Nikon president of Japan said that they're working on an SLR with an advanced video mode and no mirrors. So I'm not sure how that can be an SLR. And our man Brad Chambers says that we'll be expecting a D700 and D90 replacement at Photokina 2010. Also rumoured to be coming to Photokina 2010 is a little something from Olympus. It's the E3 successor and it's going to be called the E5 apparently according to reports. And it will be much newer. I don't know what happened to the E4 anyway. Uh, I suppose that's probably their way of saying that they're taking bloody ages to come up with a successor to this. But according to some rumours, Olympus will be phasing out mirrored cameras anyway. So what's the point? And one more thing. For every order placed at digitalrev.com, you stand a chance to win an iPhone 4 and some other goodies. And that's it folks, it's time to go.